In more news, the National Senior Citizen Center says it's strengthening efforts with relevant ministries, departments and agencies to improve the welfare of older persons across Nigeria. This was disclosed by the Director General of NSCC, Dr. M.M. Omokaro, during a press briefing in Abuja to commemorate the 2024 International Day of Older Persons. According to the Director General, older citizens faced challenges, particularly the lack of opportunities to thrive within their communities. She outlined NSCC's strategic roadmap, which focuses on ensuring the inclusion of older persons in social programs and providing vulnerable seniors with a social safety net. Our senior citizens in Nigeria, wherever they are, whether they are in the urban centers, whether they are in the rural areas, whether they are in the far-flung, hard-to-reach places, have a right as Nigerians to have access to health care, social care systems. They have a right to access income security. They have a right to be included in work schemes. Our senior citizens have a right to access any kind of program as long as it is accessible to Nigerians and specific to their age. And so we're using this opportunity to say that Nigeria is on the right track. In celebrating the theme, older persons and the role, integral role they play in communities and recognizing people and places that have removed the barriers. The message we are sending is that yes, older persons are bona fide citizens, older persons continue to contribute. However, there are major, major challenges that older people face. And one of the major challenges is ageism that stereotype, that prejudice, that discrimination. Just that thought that because somebody's old, the person has nothing to offer. Therefore, this celebration is highlighting that concern. And this celebration is trying to show you people. And as a matter of fact, many of these awards turned out to be older people themselves, moving barriers by themselves. The Director General further reassured that the NSCC's policies and programs are extending to the state, helping senior citizens even if their cognitive abilities are declining. Even today, we still have systems, institutions, persons that hold very negative stereotypes about older people. We still have systems and persons and institutions that have prejudices about older people, that still hold the myth about older people and therefore discriminate against older people, and then tend to make the environment not supportive and not enabling for older people to continue to contribute. And so we are going to be recognizing those impediments at the same time, we are going to have the opportunity to recognize individuals, communities, and places that have removed the barriers, that have unblocked these impediments, and we are going to give them the distinguished age-friendly humanitarian service, or some of them public service awards and then elder justice and recognize them for the The International Day of Older Persons, observed globally on October 1, celebrates the invaluable contributions of older individuals to society while addressing the challenges they face.